Hey everybody, this is a quick tip on how to automate your pattern spacings. So in this example I have a handrail and I have these pickets and I've set the maximum distance I want there to be between the pickets before I need to add another picket. So in this example, if I change this from a seven or a nine foot handrail to a seven foot handrail, the patterns automatically adjust and the model's robust enough that I can change the rise and run and the patterns stick with it. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so we don't need anything special here, nothing like iLogic or any programmable things like that. All we need is um, some parameters with some uh, functions built in. So let me dive into my sketch that I have for setting up the picket spacing. So this line represents the first instance in the picket pattern. This is its horizontal spacing and this is the one that we want to control with our min max value. I guess our max value. Um, so this dimension is linked to a user parameter called picket spacing that we'll calculate later. Because the pattern is going to be on an angle, I also need to pick up this reference dimension and that will be the actual spacing used in the, the pattern. And then this reference dimension is just the distance between the two bays. And this number is calculated from the overall length and it is the span for one pattern. So that's what we'll use to drive our spacing as well. So if I jump into my parameters, go down to oops, user parameters, I've made two and they are called max picket space and picket spacing. Now picket spacing has just been entered manually and we're going to change that, but max picket spacing, or space in this case, is the biggest distance between the pickets center to center that we want before we add another picket to the pattern. So in, the first thing we need to do is figure out how many number of spaces we can have for our, our span of 42 inches. So we're going to make a, a number picket spaces and because this is a number it doesn't get an inch unit so we'll change the unit type to be unitless uh, right here and then we'll make a function that gives us our number of pickets so it will be our picket span divided by the max picket space. Now, obviously we can't have 10.6 spaces, so we're going to modify this with the ceiling function. So go to the start, and uh, the ceiling function just goes to the next whole number of any number it's given. And Inventor needs the, the ceiling portion, S, or sorry, C, E, I, L, to be in lowercase. That's important. To that. It won't work if that's uppercase. And so now when we hit enter we get 11 which is exactly what we want. But because our pattern uh, starts in between two posts that already exist, the actual number of pickets will be one less than the spaces. So I'll add another parameter for that. and it will also be unitless and then I'll just say that it is equal to the number of picket spaces to, uh, minus one so now we can we can enter what our picket spacing is going to be and that's going to be our picket Span divided by the number of picket spaces. And that's the distance uh, picket to picket. 
So if we hit done in here, we see that this dimension in our spacing sketch is updated, which has in turn updated the diagonal dimension, which we're interested in. So now I should be able to make a rectangular pattern and I'm going to select this picket as the feature. Um, the direction is going to be this work axis that I specified before. I change its direction for the number. I'm going to list the number of pickets. And for the spacing, I'm going to use this derived dimension. And there we go. Looks pretty nice and even. And then we're just going to add another pattern of this pattern same direction the only difference this time is I'm going to use this distance so now if I go into my dimension form and I change this to 9 feet or something like that and I can change the rise you can see that the pattern stays consistent so Hopefully that's helpful to somebody out there. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Maybe you know a better way to do this. Uh, thanks for watching.